Now the whole thing about the Living Smart Campus is can we practice what we preach? I would like to see ideas about a smart society that you can only realize 10 years from now and then we take fractions of those ideas and implement them in a Living Smart Campus. Well, in five years' time, I hope that the technology we are developing here is so advanced that we can actually try to bring it into practice. In a smart campus, we should have a smart robot. We can make everything intelligent and talk to each other. We are turning the campus into a living organism that can handle all the events automatically by making smart decisions. So imagine that in the morning, as a lecturer, I go to work and I look at my tablet or smartphone, so uh, where is my lecture taking place today? I've seen this technology and I just want to make it work. For me, everything is possible, always. Will you help me search the web in a radically different way? So how would you shape the living smart campus to be privacy aware? Are you going to help us take the lead in shaping a smart society? When I walk on campus, I would like to know where the students actually are that I was supposed to teach this morning. When I walk on campus, I would like to know if our stores still have all the supplies so that I can do my groceries by the end of the day. When I walk on campus and I see a sports event, I want to know whether they are enjoying themselves or whether it's a fearful fight for the champions. And when I walk on campus and I see the dorms of the students, I ask myself how this project can contribute to the student community. The University of Twente is a campus university. That's, that's already quite nice huh? because you, you easily make friends here at this university. That's what I particularly like. But research-wise or work-wise, this Living Smart Campus um, for research gives the opportunity to work in a very multidisciplinary environment. And as I said, privacy, for instance, is a multidisciplinary field. So I would like to get as much value out of the activities that we do here on campus as possible. It's very challenging. And also you can really work with people from different backgrounds and on a single project. It's not an adventure that you uh, do on yourself. So we want to give intelligence, right, to this robot. And we want to have smart robots, okay? So that's the thing. <laughs> do you want to help me to make wireless communication 10 times faster, 10 times cheaper, and 10 times smaller? Are you going to help me make a robot that can live by itself for over a year? I'm passionate about search because uh, search is the thing that drives the web. Without search, the web would, would basically be useless. I'm just curious and I want to think, make things better. And it's not that I'm only focusing on electronics, but I mean, I, when I was a boy of 12, I started playing with those electronics and I liked it. I'm, I'm still doing it. But if it would be a box of chemistry, I would be a chemist. I've been in this domain for, for many years already and I've seen a lot of technologies being developed. But there's not that much that is being used also for the benefits of the people who are living it. So I would like to develop a technology such that it benefits the students and that it benefits the professors. So that it really helps people in their daily life. I would be very happy if this project could be inspiring for other people in the sense that perhaps an outsider could say, well, you know, I have this idea of what a smart society could be, but if I just look at the Twente campus, that's how it could really be in practice. You need to talk to lawyers, you need to talk to medical people, for instance, if it concerns medical data. Um, so you work multidisciplinary, um, but at the same time, we have this living smart campus, meaning that you get access to certain data. Yeah, so you can also evaluate technology, whether it is privacy enhancing or privacy preserving or not. So what I would really like to do is that to apply all these knowledge or experience that we get during these two years to acquire more projects or probably more funding to go towards smarter societies. My name is Mitra Barocci. I'm the first postdoc candidate in the Living Smart Campus project. I recently defended my PhD thesis and the topic of my thesis was longitude, latitude and beyond. And 
it was all about how we can look at GPS data that people collect and say something about their behavior. So that was all in the title, I guess. I was really looking uh, for opportunities outside academia then, back then. But then when I heard about this, uh, this project, I thought it's really bigger than all the other things that I was looking for. And I think I, I would really take the best of my time. There's actually two single reasons for, for joining us. Uh, one is we are a great team and we have lots of experience in search and we did a lot of work already on federated search. Uh, and second is, um, this is a very broad scenario in which you can pick your own uh, thing. Be creative, be stubborn and work hard. And I like to have people who are at least as energetic <laughs> as I am. I want dynamic people who are always positive. They believe in what they're doing and they're looking forward to it. Collaborating with these kind of people always gives me more energy and then I can do more. We're not looking for uh, researchers that really love to work by themselves, uh, isolated in a room and they do their thing over there. Being a postdoc can be demanding because you have to take care of yourself, your research, but also you need to work with other people. Don't let your work be guided by the next paper deadline or the next grant proposal. The lines are short, you can talk to anyone, pick up the phone or walk into the office and talk. Aim high in both your personal and professional career. You don't need to solve all the issues on your own. Think big and small at the same time. So if, if we as researchers have this natural attitude of taking the lead, this is the least that I would expect from postdocs. I want them to take the lead in this project the lead in their own part of shaping a smart society. That's what I'm looking for. Are you that person who likes to do research and bring that research into practice here on the Smart Living Campus? Will you come to help me in building this team of smart robots? Are you going to be my colleague? <laughs>